place that I'm staying here and it's really 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 cool it's deserted guys so it's kind of it's kind of awkward you know just being in a place so huge by yourself but it's also kind of intriguing you know but uh, either way this is uh, my room and let me pull it the other way so I can show you guys you know, it has a couple of beds a very very awkward chair high high ceiling you can probably hear the echo as well and very very well well kept you know has nice wood floor you know definitely the caravanserai back in the day did not have uh, uh, wood floors like this here on the silk road but uh, yeah overall sparkling sparkling clean the bathroom huge focus huge bathroom no doubt whatsoever nice nice tile uh, let's uh, take you guys in the courtyard. Pretty stunning, don't you think? And again, there's no one. There's all these rooms here. You know, it's very similar to the places that I stayed uh, in, like Shiraz or uh, Yazd in Iran. You know, these little. Uh, bread and breakfast uh, old old architecture you know hundreds of year old buildings but uh, yeah this is uh this is what we have cool little patio right here where you can actually enjoy a nice evening if you're not out taking photos beautiful weather by the way gotta go and uh, catch some rooftops hopefully since uh, yesterday was a uh, kind of a failure but uh, yeah i'm gonna show you guys the main hallway here i mean again hundreds of year old roof nice wood architecture yes i believe this is the place where breakfast where food is served again there's no one here supposed to have uh, my breakfast here in a few minutes I had a hard time finding anyone this morning yesterday when I came uh, there was this one guy here and he spoke barely any English he said don't worry about pay pay whenever and I said I want to pay now I was like pay tomorrow I mean he just kept doing this this he only spoke Russian but uh, yeah it was a little bit uh, confusing it was really really hard to find this place though um, they changed names recently, so when you Google, their location is going to give you a totally different location. It's just around the corner, 
but uh, overall it's still a little bit hard and there's a lot of construction everywhere there's dirt everywhere there's dust you know your luggages are gonna get dusty all throughout because the city streets like you're gonna like you may have or will see don't know exactly where this video will be uh, in front or behind uh, episode 2 from Bukhara here on the Silk Road in Uzbekistan but you'll find that out either way uh, I'm gonna show you guys the hallway here this is pretty cool too they have a lot of carpets again the dwelling is uh, you know it looks like adobe and uh, some uh, grass Some information here about some buildings that may or may not exist in the city. Yeah, the city of Bukhara back in the day was a city of sculptures, of architects, of artists, of a whole bunch of merchants. Yeah, guys, that was uh, the little quick tour of the caravanserai here in Bukhara. It's uh, around 4 Celsius right now, so not bad whatsoever. It definitely freshens you up once you wake up. But uh, overall, outstanding. Overall, outstanding, no doubt. Uh, yeah, just, uh, just, I don't know, kind of awkward just seeing this whole place with so many rooms, guys. I mean, as you can tell and me being the only one here it's a little bit awkward but at the same time you know it kind of makes it a little bit makes you feel a little bit special right just love the architecture here guys check it out Okay, so here's a quick glance at the breakfast they offer here, you know, some cheese, it looks like cottage cheese, an egg, a sausage, that most likely I will not touch, sour cream, butter, of course the Uzbek bread, and more. I think they uh, think we're two people here, which is not the case, but either way. So yeah, funny enough, I was asked uh, when the person uh, came, when he returned with my uh, coffee that aren't there two people here? And I said, no, there's only one. And why did you book such a big room? So, uh, you know, basically uh, that is an extremely large room for one person. It does look that way. It is very nice though. So uh, either way, let me enjoy my breakfast and uh, kind of head back out. Price-wise is uh, twenty-seven dollars per two nights, so uh, you know, a roughly thirteen and a half dollars. They do charge and a tax per person per night, and I actually put two people there when I search in uh, Booking.com. That's why they charge me more. If not, it would have been twenty-one dollars, which is still extremely affordable for something uh, this grand and with this much, this much space private bathroom and so on it's uh, again I've no idea if it's a steal or not for this area but it's definitely budget friendly especially if you were traveling in two or more people I believe they do have rooms for three four five you know big family guest house as well so it definitely caters to multiple types of uh, travelers once again guys thank you for watching if you have not subscribed until now you know please do it helps a lot truly appreciate it truly grateful for it a like is always appreciated as well until next time guys gratitude should be the only attitude stay humble and i'll see you then peace the silence fades into the night coyotes sing at the moonlight these open highways are calling our name and now it's time for us to escape feel the wind 
touch our face Let's take a spin to a foreign place These open highways are calling our name And now it's time for us to escape Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown Escape Let's escape 